So today we're going to talk about common foot and ankle issues. There's a lot of things that go into that, but your ankle and your foot are one of the most commonly injured or joints in the body that give you problems or parts of the body that gives you problems. And some of those common problems would be ankle sprains first and foremost. So an ankle sprain occurs because the ligaments on the side are not stopping the side to side motion. And so when you're stepping off a curb and you roll your foot or, you're step, or you step on an uneven surface and you roll your foot, it's that side to side motion that got you into problems. So you'll put a stretch or a strain or a pull on that ligament or on a group of ligaments and what will happen is they start to kind of tear a little bit remember a ligament is like a rope so it shouldn't stretch but if you step or you put enough force onto it it'll stretch it out too far and those fibers start to tear out a little bit so that's what an ankle sprain would be and it comes from too much side to side motion being available another common ankle or foot problem is Achilles tendonitis or perineal tendonitis, any kind of tendonitis basically. And what that comes from is the fact that there's not enough up and down motion in your ankle. So think about when you're walking, you take a step and the foot goes back behind you. You need your foot to be able to come up past neutral. And that relies on your calf and your Achilles tendon along the back of your leg stretching out. When you don't have enough stretch or enough length in those structures, then you start to put stress and strain on the tendons. If that happens for a long enough period of time, you start to actually develop some arthritic changes or arthritis in the ankle joint itself or in other joints of your foot because what starts to happen then is those bones start to pinch against each other and they start to rub against each other as they're moving and that's what sets that up. So most commonly, an injury to the ankle we'll see as an ankle sprain. Most commonly what we'll see from a non-injury problem that's a problem of the ankle is the fact that you don't have good mechanical movement of the ankle. You don't have good space in the joint. You don't have good length of the tendons around it and you don't have good control of the muscles around it to stop the side to side motion. And all of that starts to create wear and tear and stress on the ligaments on the, the tendons, on the joint surfaces themselves, and it'll usually present as some pain, global pain around the whole ankle joint at first, because what's happening is the whole ankle joint is kind of rubbing against each other because of too much, for example, side to side motion. If that problem progresses, it'll start to become very localized pain at a specific location where two bones are actually bumping up against each other. Now, if that persists over the course of a long period of time, it could start to turn into arthritis, but most commonly it'll just be ankle pain. Now if that persists and continues, yes, like I said, it'll turn into arthritis, but at the same time, you're starting to then get a lot of tightness and a lot of shortening in structures of the ankle, like the Achilles tendon or the perineal tendon, and that's what'll set off a tendonitis. So usually a tendonitis doesn't come on as a result of a specific injury. It comes on because of excess wear and tear on the joint over a period of time. We prevent all of those problems from occurring or from getting worse by making sure that the space in the joint stays as open as possible. You do that by making sure that you've got good mobility, especially in that upward direction, what's called dorsiflexion, by trying to limit and make sure that the ankle is as tight as possible in that side to side motion so that you don't get side to side shifting. And you prevent that by stretching and strengthening. Now it's very easy to strengthen for the up and down motion, but it's very difficult to strengthen for the side to side motion for that inversion and eversion. And that's really where physical therapy comes in. We can put together a specific program that's made for what you need to do in order to prevent excessive side to side motion. Now if you've actually got an ankle problem, whether it's just global ankle pain, it's some swelling, it's a specific point tenderness, it's, a, it's an Achilles tendonitis, it's arthritis, whatever it might be, then what we really need to do is evaluate your ankle, figure out what what isn't moving properly, where the space isn't staying as open as it should be, where tendons aren't stretching out as much as they should be, and where muscles and ligaments aren't providing the support that they should be. Put together a specific program for you. Any ankle or foot problem can be taken care of, but it gets taken care of by putting a specific program together. Use, for example, plantar fasciitis. Plantar fasciitis, while it's pain along the bottom of the foot, it really is coming from the fact that your ankle joint isn't functioning the way that it's supposed to. So if we use that common foot problem of plantar fasciitis and we get the space in the joint to be the way that it should, get the Achilles tendon along the backside to be as stretched out as it should, get the ligaments to do a much better job preventing side to side motion, then what starts to happen is that plantar fasciitis not only gets a chance to go away, the tissue gets a chance to heal and the problem doesn't become this reoccurring thing that means I can't wear certain shoes and things along that lines. If you've had an ankle sprain, even if you had one 20 years ago, what'll happen is those ligaments on the side, while they heal, they don't tighten back down the way that they're supposed to. And so you end up with excessive movement, which sets you up for problems like additional ankle sprains, arthritis, but most commonly, again, for plantar fasciitis. Plantar fasciitis is most commonly seen in people that have had repetitive ankle problems that didn't get treated correctly and handled and fully healed. So again, the benefit of physical therapy is 
will evaluate that ankle figure and foot, figure out what is going on, what needs to be tightened down, what needs to be stretched out, get the joint space to be the way that it should, and make sure that the mechanics of it are correct. Most often times that involves using some manual therapy, some actual hands-on therapy to open that joint space up and get tissue to release and get tissue to contract in certain positions. So if you're having any ankle or foot problems, if you've had a history of ankle sprains, whether it's one or 30, if you've had a history of plantar fasciitis once or 10 times, etc., let us take a look at it, let the expert physical therapist here at Loudon Sports Therapy Center figure out what's going on with your ankle and help you to be able to have a good happy life that allows you to move around without any ankle or foot problems.